Hi, we're in the next part here, and I'm busy hooking up a little bit of a expose or an exposition, if you want to call it that, or a critique, whatever you want to call it, of the current status quo of what's happening that's breaking the living delights out of me, and I'm bereft as a stat as a result um, on on YouTube, and not just YouTube but social media. I'm broken and I can't make money and I can't do anything and I can't move. My literally, I'm frozen in place, and YouTube is arrogant enough to imagine that they can keep doing that. Too, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Like God is not going to go and topple the whole planet on its head for one person. I am not the only person that is suffering like this and that is why my languishings are worth the while to share. But YouTube has made sure that nobody's going to listen to me. They have seen it fit to smother anyone at all that could one day gather for themselves quite a heavy viewership, followership. They're trying to control the information on the earth like Pinky and the Brain. I lamented about that the other day. Well, God is going to humiliate them. He's going to make them like Blackberry Messenger. He's going to make them like Blackberry. He's literally going to overtake them by iPhone. He's going to bring forward some other like platform that is going to overwhelm them. You know, the Antichrist is known as the little horn that eventually becomes like the big horn or something. He's this dude in the shadows that one day by miraculous surprise becomes like hella chunky, girthy, big. A person that is in, you know, the corners and the crevices and the orifices of society and then one day they are just literally too influential for anybody's liking. Hitler was imagined and the Antichrist precisely because he started out the small time dude with these wild ideas but he became massive one day. Well, in the same way that God can raise up an evil man from a place of being a little horn until he becomes a big horn for his own purpose purposes so too can he raise up a righteous platform do you understand a righteous platform or a righteous man starting out as a small timer that then one day becomes too big too legit to quit and once upon a time you underestimated him do not forsake forsake in your call the need to speak by the human race and how it is that it can actually charge innovation need breeds invention literally you can't write that off and since people are thirsty and hungry for knowledge famine in the land amos 8 and 11 the day is coming when god is going to send out a famine on the land not a famine for food nor that of a thirst of water but of hearing the words of the lord god the father understand that in that famine people are going to innovate ways to get water they're going to innovate a ways to get um what is this food they're going to innovate ways to grow plants to despite there not being sufficient water, they're going to find a way out. And there is currently a famine for information on the earth in the sense that he who or she who has got a a little bit of a different, I guess, idea or opinion about what's going on on the ground. He who or she who that has got pioneering different ideas about how to do things on the earth, they are famished, famished, do you understand, to actually get that content or that understanding. Mankind, the moment they stop growing or the moment they stop seeking out different ways of doing things, the moment they stop... um. Uh, allowing for like uh, paradigm shifters to speak that is when society settles itself in the normal distribution in the center and therefore is just perpetually mediocre and in the absence of growth there will be rigor mortis inspired muscular dystrophy in the knees of the human race and we will stop being the prolific force that we are on the earth as those who have been given dominion over the wildlife and the flora y'all need to understand that the moment the human race is no longer on an upward incline a trajectory going upward in innovation and improvement of things generally on the earth that's when it's over for us all we have never ever been intended to sit stagnated in one mediocre balanced out normal distributive state we are supposed to ultimately be paradigm shifted to move to another portion of the normal distribution and so therefore shift the normal distribution to a different direction that that which is ordinary and normal in society becomes different from what was ordinary and normal yesterday there was a time when slavery was in the normal distribution in the center now it's on the outliers now it's on the far extreme of the normal distribution it is frowned upon so those who partake in it are known as weirdos that are into random oppression of innocent souls on the ground that ought to be free so in the absence of shifting this normal whatever is is the normal the state of normal in society there is no more growth there is only oppression there is only loading it over with an iron fist over a people of this nation so since youtube wants to normalize only one rhetoric since they want to pontificate the democratic agenda frankly in the united states they are trying to keep slavery a thing they, they are the tantamount of trying to keep slavery a thing they are trying to keep people normally distributive in an environment where they no longer are innovating new ways to do life they don't want anyone with a different opinion speaking in which case then god just as he always has uprooted oppressive regimes so too will he uproot this violent social media platform because that's what it is right now currently youtube is freaking murdering me it is violent 
God is going to uproot it. Do you understand? And if God does not rapture the church, which I at the present moment don't think we have gotten to the height of, we haven't yet arrived at a place where mankind is so far gone that we would need indeed to be extracted and forgot to just end this concern altogether already. And if at all I am right in my speculations, y'all must understand then that God is going to uproot literally like plucking out the hairs off a chicken youtube as the most prolific social media platform literally this is a prophecy i am not even speculating at this point there is no way that the most reaching platform on the earth will be allowed by god to be satanic while he still has kept the church here if a mukbang i guess to keep her five million followers and a Christian can lose them overnight just by speaking something taboo about the vaccine. God is going to then take away even the mukbangers, 5 million followers, by making YouTube whatever irrelevant. It's no longer a thing. If God could raise up the little horn in Hitler and make him the big horn for the purpose of fulfilling his prophecy and saying that because you have dishonored me, my people, I'm going to scatter you across the lands and you will become a byword to all nations. And so anti-Semitism is going to rise up. If God could raise up Hitler to fulfill his purposes, how much more will he then raise up a righteous branch or a righteous man to rescue those among his people that have decided to repent because they have seen that God has judged them for having indiscretion. Do you understand? So YouTube might underestimate Rumble. And YouTube might underestimate Gab and Bitchute. YouTube might underestimate these platforms all over the show that are trying to give people a freedom of expression. They might even um, underestimate Elon Musk's decision to go and purchase Twitter for the sake of keeping people free in their speech. It is absolutely possible that YouTube might underestimate the power of people's longing and desire to actually be free to communicate and speak what they want to speak. But it is the very purpose or process of underestimating what God can do because of how much people are refusing to let others have leg room. It is that very process of underestimation that ultimately has caused many people to fall. It, it, it literally is like the tantamount of the skinny little scrawny guy in high school that you turn back as the popular girl that then one day grows up, goes to the gym and becomes this buff, gorgeous, excellent, like gym bunny, Oki, that now today you want. But back then you did not think that turning him away meant anything for your future. You will grovel outside of his life and wish you had done differently because you could not for the life of you foresee that this guy could indeed end up something much better than what you thought before. YouTube is busy turning away scrawny little teenage boys, not realizing that they've got more or less the makings of a guy that could become buff because he's tall enough, because he's got, I don't know, legs and muscles and ability to lift weights. And so one day could become, I get to be Max Map Map Smoponyani. My goodness, I get, uh, I've just got all of these interruptions all over the show, but I'll, I'll just carry on doing what I do and hope for the best. Like YouTube underestimates how much people long, long for freedom of expression to speak their minds, say what they want to say. They underestimate it. They underestimate the living daylights of the importance of that. Like this cancel culture, culture, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it's so ridiculous that it deplatformed an entire president of a country, a whole president of a country. And you think people are not going to get to a point where they're like, I'm sorry, no, we can't do this. I can't. If I can't speak what I want to speak, what in the world is left then for me? The rise of independent platforms is totally on a whole thing now. Not only that, the rise of alternative platforms where people can speak their minds no matter what they say, where people are also ought to be trusted to make their own decisions, that's on the come up. And one of these platforms, one of them, is ultimately one day going to take YouTube over. Y'all need to get that. It's literally going to end up taking YouTube over. Next part.